Oh. I did not expect that. Okay. What's up, everybody? My name is Tentacle, and welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we completed the Toy Time Galaxy Purple Comet, and it was nowhere near as hard as I thought. And this time, we're starting with the Deep Dark Galaxy Purple Comet. When I loaded up the game just now and saw there was a Purple Comet in the garden, I thought it was going to be the Dreadnought Galaxy. But I'll take this. It's time for... Plunder the Purple Coins. This one isn't too terribly bad. It's just immeasurably tedious. All 100 purple coins are in the underground ghost ship area where you fought Camella the other two times. And I'm pretty sure there are purple coins down here, right where this jellyfish enemy is. Sorry there, Mario. That might have hurt a little bit, but I gotta get these purple coins somehow. I figured I could start this video off easily before we eventually get a purple comet that's immeasurably difficult. By the way, before I forget, I think I'm gonna go back to recording my commentary in Audacity instead of having both this and my commentary in OBS Studio. I tried that for, I believe, that was episode 38. If my math is correct, this should be episode 39. But yeah, I tried it back then and I did not like the volume balancing. It worked. It just felt off, you know? I much rather prefer being able to balance my gameplay volume and commentary volume separately whenever I make these Let's Play videos. Anyway, that should be all the coins that are down there. I remember that all too well from when I first played this version of Mario Galaxy. What do you have to say, Captain Toad? Wow, what's a ghost ship doing here? Scared? Don't worry, I'll protect you. If any ghosts come out, I'll send them running scared. Too bad I don't see any ghosts. Oh, who's protecting whom? There's a pickaxe toad up there. And I know there are some purple coins up here. But yeah, I can't believe we're almost done with this Let's Play. After this level is over, we'll only have four more stars. I dare say we could finish this in at least two more episodes. That's how confident I am, you know? I've been on this Let's Play for way too dang long in the grand scheme of things. Part of it wasn't my fault, but still. Ooh, you know what? I just had an idea. I think I'm gonna collect these underwater purple coins while I got the time. This isn't timed, but you know what I mean. Because, if I'm not mistaken, when you get the last purple coin, the star will appear on the ship. And don't worry if you're screaming at your monitor to help me get the purple coins that are directly below the ghost ship. I'll get them in a moment. There are a bunch more purple coins on the perimeter of this ship. You know, I never really made this comparison back in the day. But this totally reminds me of Clanker's Cavern from Banjo-Kazooie. This place is just a giant circle with something big in the middle. 
And in the case of Banjo-Kazooie, all the collectibles were centered around Clanker. And even inside of him, if you know what I'm talking about. One of these days, I want to actually play Banjo-Kazooie. Maybe I'll do that on stream after Hollow Knight. But then I gotta beat Paper Mario as well. I don't know. That's a future me problem. But there we go. I got that line of coins. Now you guys can hopefully rest easy because I do believe the rest of these coins are gonna be way less hard to get. Yeah, bet you didn't know you could actually get up there. That's not the right button. Wait, what the heck? There we go. I knew it was there somewhere. I think Mario was just trying to grab onto a really awkward part of the wall there. That's why I couldn't do anything. No. B first, then Y. There we go. I don't think there are any purple coins in these boxes. I don't seem to remember that anyway. So I'll just collect the ones that are on the ship and see where we are from there. I know there's a bunch in the crow's nest where the final part of the Camilla boss fight was. I can't believe I got that. Okay. Two more right there. Then there's two more under the crow's nest. Yeah, I do believe we found all the purple coins. Because the last one technically, is right on top of that stalactite. I'll cut away until I grab those last three. I knew the star would appear on the ship! And Mario just barely dodged that stalactite, too. But okay. Glad that's over. Now I wonder what's next. Oh no! Alright. Okay. I knew it was only a matter of time, but here it is. It's time for the Dreadnought Galaxy Purple Comet. This right here is my least favorite Purple Comet in the game, and quite possibly my least favorite level in the game. And this is probably going to be one of the last three episodes, so it's a good thing I basically saved this for last. It's time to collect the Battle Station's purple coins. And I am not ready. Because look at how far apart they are! You have to go through the entirety of Dreadnought's Colossal Cannons and you can't miss a single purple coin. There's no time limit like the Battle Rock version. But not only are you getting fired at from every angle with these cannons, these purple coins are in such a weird pattern, you're guaranteed to miss at least one or two on your first few tries if you're not deadly accurate. And who could forget the gravity switching? See? I already missed one!
I don't think I was supposed to backflip there. But the point still stands. Now you see why this is my least favorite level in the game. Luigi's Purple Coins was pretty tough, but this is worse. I'm pretty sure I can just make this with a regular jump. Yeah, I can. I may have to be a little quieter than usual so I can concentrate on picking up these purple coins, so I'm sorry in advance. If you stay on those sideways platforms for too long, they will eventually fall. So you have to keep moving. I don't think I've missed any purple coins yet. I'd be surprised if I did. Not this time, game. Oh, look at that. Just as I said that, I missed two. Wow, okay, and I was right at the end. Alright, I'll cut away any more failures just to save time. Hey guys, tentacle in editing here. I'm just gonna cut out every other attempt that I did of this level because that's gonna save you a lot of trouble. You can tell how long I spent on this one singular level by the amount of exasperation in my voice right here. Okay, what is this? Number 10? Number 11? I don't even know anymore. I've lost track. But, uh, here we go. Okay, I do believe we're on the right track. Oh my gosh, am I actually gonna make it? Please tell me these are the last five. There's one more. Where did I miss one? Is it at this thing? Oh, it's right there. Holy moly! I think that took around 10 or 11 tries. I'm dead serious. You really worked for it. Shut up! This is the end of the level. Goodbye, everybody.